Hey everybody and welcome back to the flame in the flood. We continue from where we left off the last time as we continue our quest further on, further, further on in endless mode. Because we still have a long way to go. Because the distance between where we are now and infinity, which is endless, is, well, infinity. That's okay. So we have, uh, we have some stuff to take care of. We got to do some water and other stuff. I need to remember all the stuff that I'm actually trying to take and all the stuff I'm not trying to take. I know I'm running a little low on food. Let me check here what I'm missing. Yeah, I'm running a little on food. Is it about to rain? Probably. Good, so my water's taken care of then. Uh, there's a boar. Just going to avoid him. Come on, Aesop, ignore him. I'm gonna go ahead and drink some water while we wait I have one spare water sitting back here oh come on I know you want to rain it's gonna rain the second that I uh, that I leave the dock there we go We've got a little bit of time to make some murder happen. Murder and consumption of animals. Oh, that's right. I forgot there's totally a camp. Or a, uh, yeah, that is a camp. Fire's gonna be out, but uh, that's okay. Furious Falls. I don't think I need flint or arrows. I suppose I'm okay, but it's not yet nighttime, so I'm also good in that regard. Pretty sure I don't need feathers. Others. My interest mostly lies in here and in this crate, because it could actually contain useful things like food. Could. Not likely to, but could. Don't have room for flint. Not looking for anything in particular from cars. And it's about time to go to bed. I would very much like to see the bear and wolves again. But I am probably going to start cashing in my. Uh, Oh, we got that bug still going on. Baron Wolves is probably too much to ask for, but... Gotta kinda hope, right? was a wolf. Alright, our sleep is at 53. So sure, we'll just do 50. Yeah, there's gonna be wolves, but that's okay. That was odd. I've never quite had the river push me through the uh, dock before. 
Luckily it didn't actually damage us. That is very lucky. Alright. Trying to find the most optimal path here. This was not the correct choice, but I have to deal with it. Or else be smashed upon the shore. This'll do March. Desolate Wasteland, Occasional Camps and Church. Damn it, Slow River! Slow River and Clear Sky is actually not very good for me. It means the, uh... Means our water collector isn't going to collect things as fast. So our goal is to basically get out of here as fast as possible. Now I don't want to burn through all of my gas. Also, it is super cold, but we are dealing just fine. That's what all that bear slash white wolf gear does. I really wish you could make more than. Uh, just the white wolf jacket. That'd be really cool. It'd also be way too strong, especially if the chance to uh, not get attacked stacked. Or I shouldn't say not get attacked, not get injured by an attack. Because that's already a super good ability. Desolate Wasteland. Honestly? Desolate Wastelands have been pretty good for finding bears and wolves together. And snakes. We've got one snake. Alright, one snake. We got any wolves? We got one boar. Okay. It's been a while, but we're going to get to use snakes against a boar. Just look at that boar. Shrugging off that snake bite like a champ. We need to find the other snake without accidentally running into it. That made the stop fairly worth it. Go ahead and eat that. We've got meat to cook. I'm not gonna do it just yet. I'm not gonna cook it just yet. I'll be cooking it as I need it. Because I'm gonna be needing it. Uh, I'm not sure how... Sorry, I started a sentence and totally stopped. I'm not sure uh, <coughs> how worth it is to use the gas. I guess if I start having a real problem with water, maybe I'll go. As I said, that bug is super weird. Anyway, uh, wastelands do seem to have a good amount of animal versus animal that I can do. Is it worth staying here until nighttime to see if wolves spawn? I'm gonna say yes. I mean, there's a bear, and I'm not killing the bear myself, so... Plus, we'll have some nice background music to accompany our time. I don't know if he can hurt me. But this is certainly odd. Usually when there's a bear, there's a boar that's just, like, doing dumb stuff, so... That is unfortunate, those rambles being there. It's gonna make outmaneuvering the bear very challenging. I'm actually gonna throw off my sleep schedule a bit here. 
Ooh, what is my water situation like on the raft? I don't actually know. Okay. We've got 97%, which means it'll be full soon. Plus, we still have two jars of water, so we should be okay for a while. Yeah, I'm basically sleeping till nighttime. It's not the best idea, but it's an idea. I'm I'm hoping for wolves. I mean, that's the long and short of it. Cuz that's three meat, and I kind of need a replenishing of meat. It's about to be actual nighttime, so Stare down the bear. Looks like Scout's nodding off. Oh, never mind. It's not her nodding off. It's her hearing something and reacting to it, looking around. You don't usually stand around like this in this game, so the idle animation is... Uh, not particularly important. Still twilight. No, no, Aesop. Leave the bear alone. would have showed up by now. Yes! It's the white wolf. White wolf smart. White Wolf smart. Gosh darn it. Make my life really hard. That was not ideal. By any means. Hey, what's the raft like? Waterfall. I can make it to the next place. Oh, easily. Before I dehydrate. I don't think I can make it to that one because the river is going to force us that way. Yeah. I'm going to rehydrate before I leave. In the meantime, enjoy the music. Looking for bears. Nope, no bears. Just a single wolf. Well, seems like he was particularly uninterested. if this was a jerky or something. I think it's... Wow! Okay, I don't need that, but... With, with luck like that, I had to give it another shot. I basically called it. Which is fine by me. Although, I don't remember if we have a stack of jerky or not right now. Yeah, hungry, hungry. Ah, 
I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the music while we're while we're going. And it's morning. Our attempt at uh, getting the bear to do some murder for us has thrown our sleep schedule off quite a bit. We'll see if I uh, if I can make it all the way till nighttime without getting too exhausted. One snake. Two snake. Three snake. It's one wolf. Four snake. Well, this is a bore easy. Just gotta line them up. That wasn't even hard. Shut up. You too. That looks like that's all there is here, but that is still well worth it. Well, well worth it. Alright, what else do we got? What do we have my inventory yet? We need to get rid of this. Don't need it. Now the late morning, early afternoon. Quirt. Quirt. It's hard to pronounce. One. Two, three. I hear at least a fourth one somewhere. Four. Five. Oh my gosh, it's a smorgasbord. I'm in a bad position, by the way. I need to be really careful about this bear. If he aggro's on me, I'm probably done. I just need to be in a place that I can run and presumably make it. Maybe? The snake bite would slow him down. God, there's enough snakes that I kind of want to try something stupid here. It's a shame I didn't get the wolves around this way. Because then there'd just be a wall of snakes on the other side. Location. Well, what do you know? We now have a whole bunch of meat. Which is always nice. I'm not going to complain about it. Not one bit. I mean, there are three more snakes. I could hypothetically kill the bear were it to pad the way that I would expect it to pad. I don't trust my ability to predict a bear that much. Mostly because I don't predict bears. Like, I'm, I'm not one to, uh, 
Oh, sweet Jesus. Gonna have to go back for that. I love it when suddenly meat is uh, back on the menu. We're almost ready to eat another one, so... Let's go ahead and pick up our torch. And depart. Wonderful stop. I told you, wastelands aren't all bad. The slow river is bad, but the wastelands themselves are not all bad. I do not have any room in my inventory, but it could always be more jerky. Nope. Look, there is some dreaming, and I'm not going to call that twice in a row and be correct. It's just not going to happen. But hey, good break's a good break. We basically have to stock up for when the river gets so sparse that there's nothing there and we just have to make the last run with as many resources as we have. It's about time to go to sleep anyway. Just some brambles. Don't hear any wolf sounds. Okay, maybe I do. It could also be my own footsteps. Nope. Oh, we don't we don't have anything there. I don't even know what missions we have left. I know one of them is about Yucca. That I'm aware. Yucca harvest. We don't have any ash cakes anymore, do we? Oh, we we do. We still have two yeah, two ash cakes. I haven't found any corn. We'll probably sleep at the next location. All right. It is a little dangerous uh, using this boost as much as I do because if I need it, I don't have it. We're also in a really slow part of the river, so the chances of me needing it are going to be pretty low, besides using it for propulsion, and purely propulsion. My dream for a biome change. We also need to check what percentage our water uh, filter is at. Next time we stop. Next time we stop, we're probably going to eat, drink, and sleep. Which is going to be in approximately 200 meters. Mother's hungry. It's okay, I should have actually eaten probably before I left the other one. Because we would have dropped, we dropped below 65. But that's okay. Looks like we're going to get at least two stops in here pretty solidly. Yeah, we're not going to get to three, but two pretty solid. Axis Mundi. We've only seen that name a hundred times. Alright, we're gonna hopefully find some good stuff here. A snake that I don't feel quite comfortable trying to go around. Oh wow, it's already really late. I should have gone to sleep long time ago. Just some rags. Well, this is at the very least a boar. accomplished. 
And if we're lucky, I'm going to be able to get a whole bunch of rabbits here in a minute. I have to sleep first, though. Alright, so let's eat a little bit. The fatigue is 18. Holy crap. I'm going to sleep for 88. It's way overkill. It's going to be mid-afternoon by the time I wake up. But I think it is worth doing. Wow, it's not even close to mid-afternoon. Our water is full. Huh. It's actually impressive. I've been missing the notifications for it. Right, the key here is to get a snake amongst the rabbits. Is there really only one rabbit? That would be depressing if there's only one rabbit. I believe it, but it'd still be sad. All right, come here, come here, you dummy. All right, see you're a dummy. My inventory is legitimately full. Oh, it's because it's a dead rabbit. God damn it. Wow, it's actually attracted to the torch. Yeah, because we have to skin said rabbit. And then pick up our torch. Shut up. Silly snake. Use you to do my bidding. The fact that there's only one rabbit there, though, just sucks. Look, another snake. Another snake! Holy crap. Snake in the brambles. Alright, well, before we depart, let's go ahead and drink. I don't like being that low on water. Alright. We seem to be doing pretty good here. I'm I'm actually pretty happy with the recovery of meat suddenly. Because we were pretty much out, and now we're back to, you know, a reasonable amount. Uh, what I would consider a reasonable amount. We're not quite at our four and four, but I'll take it. Actually, we're pretty close, aren't we? One day we will find Yucca. One day. Don't run on the ants, buddy. Okay, one wolf. Is it just one? Oh, well. I do not like the number of snakes that are here. There's enough snakes that I could use the snakes to kill the wolf instead of the boar. He ran that way, which means he's gonna come from that way, which means I wanna be here. Hopefully his pathing will take him this way and not this way. Pathing does take him this way, I'll have to run around. But in the meantime, we have to wait. Oh, well. Really, Snake? I don't want to be over there. I want to keep an eye. I don't know if the bear teleported back or if he just got a really clean swipe and then one hit left. Now we just gotta find the body. Oh. 
Wolf, don't mess with bears, man. Like, just please, for your own safety. Actually, scratch that. Totally mess with bears. Mess with bears when I'm not even around. It's a great plan. It can't possibly end poorly. Alright. I was gonna say, it's about time to eat. It's also almost time to sleep. Alright, so let's make some cooked meat. We'll go to a nice 3 and 3 average. This is very nice. We are doing very well. Maybe I can't knock on the wastelands anymore. Because the wastelands have literally provided me, in an ironic manner, the most food that I've had and you know that I've gotten in the recent past at a time that I've needed it. I don't know, I I really it's this quiet, it's just really really relaxing. You know, ignoring the whole apocalypse thing. Huh. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to be sleeping at my next stop. Whenever that may be. Hint. we got no room to pick stuff up. Unfortunate, but true. We might be able to get to a second stop, so this is the fork that I'm going to choose. Wolfswood. What a promising name. Not surprising. I'm going to take the effort to look for a bear, though. Don't think the boar is gonna keep the wolves distracted for long. I know they can't kill each other, so I'm not going to bother staying around. All right, sleep looks like we want about 50. So, yeah. All right. It's about to be morning. You're all nice and rested up. Gaxiola Bay. Sounds like three wolves. Yep, okay. So we need nine snakes or a bear. Honestly, six snakes and a bear I'd settle for. That would be dangerous, to say the least. One. Basically, I'd open up by putting an arrow into one. Nope, not enough snakes. We are close though. I think we're four. I guess it was only three. Unless I, I forget if I saw one over there. It's very ever, very rarely ever enough. Except for the one, <laughs> the one place that had literally every friggin' animal in it. Which, you know, was great. We're due for a biome change here in the next couple miles. I'm actually going to start paying attention to how long biomes are. I'm sure that I could go back to some older episodes and check. But it would be a good idea to keep keep track. 
I promise I don't even know when this biome started. Because if I can get a rough estimate of miles, then I'll be able to go pretty, pretty decently. Just like knowing how much water you go through next amount of time and how much food you go through next amount of time is super useful. And I've actually already forgotten those numbers. It's been so long since I've played before this and last episode that I've forgotten a lot of those things. But I really just need to pay attention again. Just, you know, give myself a little reminder, get where my water is. See, water collector full. Our timing is still great here. Let me go for that. I don't know if it's going to stop me from going to there. Yes, it will. But there's another one which we might be able to get to also. So, fine by me, I guess. Actually, we might not be able to get there. It's going to depend how the river twists and turns. Fox Hollow. Better than wolves. Though there aren't actually foxes in the game. It would be cool if there was some more, more wildlife and different interactions with those wildlife. Dang it. Thought I was going to avoid aggroing him. Okay, poor gave up. It's about to rain. Though I thought it wasn't supposed to rain. It said clear skies. I do need to eat. So let's take some time and take care of this. If it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain for a very brief amount of time. And I'm not even convinced that it's going to. It could just be getting dark. It is about that time. No, it's way too dark for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the... Son of a... I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. Can I leave? Is it still raining? I mean, I don't think I even got wet. No, I totally did. Darn. That's annoying. Alright, since I don't see that snake, that snake is mad at something. The question is, what is that snake mad at? Free food is what that snake is mad at. Well, there are now some dead things over there. I heard lumbering noises, so... He looks really up in arms. I don't know if I can get to that wolf safely. I think that wolf died right next to him. Yes, it did. Alright, not messing with that. There are certain things you do not mess with, and that is one of them. Although, I might be able to kill this bear. Um, no, it's not worth it. The phrase, I could kill this bear, and totally worth it are pretty much contradictory. And of course the reason for that being that if you die, it is not worth, and that is always, always, a reasonable outcome. Like a reasonably, ex I don't say acceptable, but a re statistically reasonable outcome of doing battle with a bear. Especially without involving uh, the gas. Our wonderful uh, gas bombs. Now I could always drop one of those uh, at my feet to stop the bear from murdering my face. 
presuming that I myself can get away from it in time. Which I might be able to. Or at least might cough way me out of. If I have the intelligence to hold my breath, which oh my gosh. Which is always nice. Right? Like, you know, I can hold my breath, sure, why not? I'm a human, I can think for myself. That sort of great stuff. Sneaky sneaky. So <laughs> maybe it would work, but having using that as a backup is not really I don't want to say it's not really the best idea. Cause I mean it's not, but it's not really that it's not just a bad idea. It's, it's not a feasible plan. Maybe maybe a not a good idea, it's just the phrase I'm looking for. It it's certainly unwise. And it might not be enough. The chance of it to backfire is not minimal. And here's our biome change. So, 233 and a half is our mileage at the turnover. Glen Rapids. Alright, so this is where we have to be really careful about crashing our boat. Well, raft. The only reason I got that is because it was so close. Same with this one. Salt, nice. I was not going to move closer to that to try and get to it. Going to avoid as much churn in the water as we can. Since I'm pretty certain, I am fairly certain that that will be what kills us, is drowning. I say fairly certain, and I do mean it. Whew. Excuse me. I don't know why I yawn when I play this game, because I am, like, utterly engaged. I think it's because I'm talking so much that my brain needs more oxygen, and it's forcing the yawn. I don't know. Now that I'm talking about yawns, I'm just going to make myself yawn. So. I can do that, and it's not... Oh, it's sensical, it's just not... <laughs> it's annoying. I don't want to be yawning while I'm recording. Alright. Let's cook up the meat that we've got. We're going through our meat as fast as I expected. I have not yet checked. I need to wait until, like, right at dawn to try and, uh check how how all the things drop over the course of a day we don't have a reclamation suit like in Subnautica so we need to know what our general usage is oh, damn it aggro that boar from so far away. Don't see any snakes. You can't charge in corner or around corners, boar. Good, looks like he's doing that. Surprised in a place called Rapids, Marissa's Magical Meadow. That's actually a fantastic name. One wolf I see. One bear I see. Three wolves I see. Oh no! Look at me! Tiny little morsel. And it's time to leave. Oh look, a boar. Okay, it's a dumb boar. And by dumb I mean bugged. 
tour a whole bunch of snakes too. Oh god, the boar is involved. I, I just kind of want to watch. For some reason I don't think a torch will put off a bear, so I think we're just going to call it. I will take the two free meat as it is better than none. Well, oh, it's better than three and dead by bear. I got three meat, but I died to a bear. Ah, oh, man. Bear doing all the hard work. I guess he deserves to keep some of his kill. I do not like my limited visibility in that narrow corridor. Okay, we didn't take that much of a hit. Holy crap, that was close. That was a gut instinct decision, go right. I don't know if it was really feasible or if it was really a wise choice but that's the choice I made let's go this way darn I limited myself to one maybe not if I hit this I might be able to boost all the way to the right we'll see Pranaya's Refuge it's not one that sounds particularly familiar we need to sleep. 34. Oh, that's right. Sixty-two will be good. With diminishing returns at the top, it really doesn't make sense to sleep too much. Let's go ahead. Well. Yeah, I might as well. Alright, let's see if we can take advantage of bears and wolves again. I was hoping to not find the wolf that soon. Yeah, I know, snake. Leave Ace up, leave the snake alone. He's angry at me. This is where I need to lure the wolf. I don't know where the, lure, the wolf is going to be coming from. Probably from this way. Speaking of. Wolf's going to run away for a bit. And in that intro, I need to find another snake. That is not what I wanted. can trade one arrow for one meat, so I'm going to do it. It's pretty much a guaranteed worth it. Wow, this boar is smart. Oh boar, I'm gonna get you bit by this snake. Oh 
Oh, don't you dare. Come on. Oh, really? Since when did boars get smart? Trading one arrow for one meat is the best ratio you will ever get reasonably without immense danger to yourself because the only way to get better than one arrow one meat is to kill bear using only one arrow which implies that you have three other sources of damage which would have to not be of your own device to be better than just a single arrow so man I need saplings well on saplings well I guess we can find more flint at least. Let's get a cook in. Same, we're, we're back to doing good with meat. <coughs> Excuse me. Apparently breathing is not my forte. Which is a pretty unfortunate thing to be uh, possibly true. Alright, looks like we are going to get a second stop. blighty. Well, that... I hope it, that this place is not under a blight. That would be most unfortunate. I now can collect feathers if they fall in reasonable places. Anything decent here? Wow. We get everything except the, uh... Except the sapling. Like, immediately. Fine by me. Looks like that's it for here. Still good. No complaints. Silence Crow. The hell is going on? Something's going on that's really weird. Um, excuse me? Well, that really sucks, and now we really need a marina. That was... I don't, I don't even know. I really, I don't even know what that was. For some reason, the river wanted me to go back up it, but that doesn't, I don't know. Oh, me, we're going this way. Holy crap. Alright, well, one hit and we drown. One more hit and we drown. This is hellish. Well, what did I say? The rapids. We can make it through this. We can make it through this. I think I'm going to call this episode early on account of stress. Because now we got to play flawlessly on the rafting side. Dude, is some real. What the hell? Floating snake. Smarter or dumb boar? Smart boar. Well, conscious boar. There's a couple of different uh, levels of conscious and smart here. Come on, you dummy. Do it. My back is turned. Yeah, you're really not going to be goaded, huh? Nope. Alright. Hmm. 
Well, it's night time. So let's have our possibly last meal. And I say possibly with no particular uh, sarcasm. Let's get a nice good four hours of sleep. And since I don't want to run long on episodes, because I've done that in the past, I'm going to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. By leaving there after we will save the game. And yeah, hopefully next time we manage to survive and the rapids don't put us to our deaths. But uh, now we're really hoping for a marina. And we know that marinas are super rare at this point in time. So, yeah. <laughs> we can only hope. We can only hope. So yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Until then, keep your rafts put together a lot better than mine and your gears turning.